As we saw in the last tutorial video, all these buttons to the right hand side of the tracks have a certain purpose. These first two we looked at in the previous tutorial video, but just to recap, let's click on the track information button. This brings up all the information for the track, including the alternate versions. The next button here is the drag to playlist. Simply click on it and drag, add to one of the playlists on the right hand side. This button here, shaped like a star, is the favourites button. By clicking on this, it saves the track in your favourites tab. You can view your favourites at any time by clicking on the favourites tab above. Next to the favourites button is the download button. Now at the moment our downloads are set to 320k mp3s. I will show you how you can change your file format in the last tutorial video. Once you click on this button, either here or up in the track above, it will begin to download. If you're on PC, it will download and ask you where you want to save, but on Mac, which I'm on now, it will download straight into your downloads folder. The final button here is the Q sheet button. Users familiar with our hard drive will have seen this feature rolled out for some time now. By clicking on this button, you will be downloading the music reporting information in an Excel document. Next, we'll be looking at the audio player and the snip functions, which are a new addition to Boost Live. 